You're crazy. Am I? Yes. Am I? Yes. Am I? Can women, yeah, that blatantly exploit their sexuality for likes or for pr promotional gain or for financial gain, whatever it is, yeah, on social media, can they really complain, right, when men objectify them, <laughs> right? And the reason why I'm asking, yeah, is um, as I was going through TikTok and other social media sites, but TikTok was the main one, yeah, you see a lot of women, yeah, who are blatantly showing off the tits. That's what it is, blatantly showing off the tits, yeah? And they're doing the challenges or whatever, and they've got the little tight tops on with the, you know, the well endowed up top, they've got the little tight tops on, you know what I mean, with the neck, the neckline plunging down to here, and they're all bending in front of the camera like that, or doing whatever challenge they're doing, and it's all boom, 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 boom right? And it's going to get views, yeah? And a lot of the views they're going to get are going to be from men, from men right? Now, the thing is, a lot of these same women, right, complain, right, that men are objectifying them. And they were all like, hey, you, don't, hey, you can't say that about me because some men will go above, you know, some men, you know, kind of like go above and beyond and uh, kind of like overstep the boundaries. Yeah. And then they complain about it. Right. But my view is that, well, if you didn't put it out there, then they would have nothing to say. And then you'd have nothing to complain about. You know what I mean? Like a cause and effect kind of thing. <laughs> right? And um, it goes... And I use that example, yeah? Because th this particular woman that did have something to say, she's kind of like... She went gun ho at it. She went, she went in hard, talking about how men are perverts and this, that, and the other. Right? And um, I'm, I can only assume that a lot of the responses that she got were from men that she considered not to be quite pretty. Or... The men that were responding were what were what she would consider old, fat and ugly, a bit like myself. Yeah. And she didn't like it. Right. So because the way she responded was very, um, you know, you couldn't get me and I wouldn't touch you with a bar, all that kind of stuff. You know what I mean? But again, the question I'm asking is that, yeah, because she was exploiting her own sexuality yeah, and the responses that she got. Uh, not the ones of her taste or she wasn't happy about it yeah can she have the right to really complain I'm not saying the right to complain but couldn't she, you know can she really complain about it you know what i mean because i also kind of think that if it was a if the guys that were responded were all like six foot six basketball players or football superstars then i don't think she'd have she wouldn't be complaining too hard about that you know what i mean but obviously there in this whole social media thing you've got millions of men that will be watching them sites you know what I mean? And actually, I'd like to, actually, when I'm thinking about it, I'd like to ask all the women as well, you know, what do you think that these women, do you think they, that, do you think that these women that are overtly exploiting their sexuality, do you think that it's a good look for women? You know what I mean? Because there's another trend or another thing, not trend, there's another thing that's happening as well that I think the, um, <laughs> that is, is a, the, that's a bit kind of like funny in the sense that there are a lot of kind of like female uh, entertainers now, yeah, coming up through like a podcast kind of system where they're making their own podcast and they're going on Instagram and making them video screen things and uh, video chats and whatever, yeah. And when you see them, they're doing the same thing in the sense that there's this one girl, I'm not going to mention her name, I've got to put her in blast like that, but she came out there, she's doing a, 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 a podcast and it's, uh, of, a, of a sexual nature and she's wearing clothes that I would say is very re not revealing but it's I don't, want to, I don't even want to say inappropriate but you know it's, it's it's very sexual yeah because at the end of the day she got two straps on here the, the neckline plunges right down to a, a belly button yeah and the gap between here is way out here <laughs> right you know what I mean so the top barely covers you know what I mean she might as well be topless right and again, she's all there talking very openly about sex and this, that, and the other, and what she likes and what she don't like and whatever, and bouncing up and down and whatever. And again, the audience that she's going to be talking to, now she's talking to a lot of females, yeah, but again, there'd be a large audience of men that would be watching that. And for me, what it is, is when I, 
I'm not speaking, I'm just saying this as myself, as a man, yeah. What women need to understand is that what they're doing is like a green light to a man, yeah. And when I say a green light, what I mean is that if you've, if you've ever been in a car with a guy who drives a fast car, like a GTI, Golf or a, or a Porsche or any kind of fast car that's got some speed behind it, yeah. And he's driving down a long main road and it's got lots of lights on it. And all the lights are red, yeah. All them red lights are like, um, all them red lights are like, oh, I don't do this on the first date. And, oh, you know I mean? If you want to take me out for a drink or, you know, you have to take me out for a drink first. And, you know, all these red lights make, you have to take your time, right? But you take that same guy and all those lights turn green, my man's going to put his foot down. You know that, yeah. He's going to, green lights, whoo. Yeah, and for me, what I'm trying to say to women, yeah, or what you got to understand is that when you start talking all um sexual natures and all them thing there, and you start wearing very prerogative clothes or start st what, what's the, what, the doing that Cardi B thing where they're all sticking out their tongue and licking their lips and sticking out their tongue and p pushing out your chest and showing off your body and thing like that, all of them things there are like green lights to men, yeah, <laughs> right. So and because they're green lights, yeah. I don't think as a woman you can really complain when men come speeding through, right? Because you've got you've not given anything to stop about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's just my opinion, and I'd like to get your opinion on it and get you what do you think? You know what I mean? Because I just think well, a lot of women out there might say, well, you know, you can't say that. I can express myself the way I want to, and I'm not saying this. This is I'm not trying to. Like, I want to make this clear. I'm not trying to condone or try and justify uh, any. A man that goes like out of out of bounds and starts, you know, wanting to touch up gal or think that they can like stalk them and things like that. I ain't saying that, yeah. But what I am kind of saying is that, you know, for a lot of the women who are out there who are doing their thing or whatever, they just kind of dress normally, you know what I mean? And they've got a good figure and the clothes that they're wearing suits their figure. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm not talking about them women there. That's that's just regular dress, yeah. I'm talking about the women that blatantly yeah over ex extrovertly or whatever the word is yeah purposely want to bounce the chest up in the screen or shake out the bottom and wear the you know the way in the jogging pants that are just two sizes too small yeah <laughs> right them women you know what i'm saying um but like i said uh, let me know in the comments below do you think that women can have the right to come not i keep saying right can women complain if they're being objectified when they're the ones that are putting themselves out there let me know in the comments below. I'm out. Peace. Yes. Am I? Yes. Am I? Yes.